I've recently started a series on building databases in LibreOffice Base. LibreOffice being the free office suite that works on Mac, Linux, and PC. Now, what I neglected to cover was how to install it on Windows 10. So in this quick, shall we say, three and a half minute tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to download LibreOffice onto Windows 10 and how to get base, the database element of it working. This involves downloading a driver from Oracle, the Java Runtime Edition. I show you how to do it all in this, it's quite simple, and by downloading this, LibreOffice Base, the database, will work. Enjoy. So I'm downloading the 64-bit uh, version of LibreOffice Base. You can also choose the 32-bit. I don't think there's too much of a difference, but I just went with the 64-bit uh, version here. So it's just time to download, uh, just letting it do its thing here. And now let's just uh, install it by double-clicking on it. Choose Next. And I've gone with the uh, typical installation. Click Next and Install. So LibreOffice is installing. And now it's time to click Finish. And I'm not going to restart it right now. So I've pinned LibreOffice to the taskbar and I'm going to launch it right now and create a new database. And now I'm going to choose Finish. And I'm going to save it to the D drive, create a new folder called Libre Office Space Databases, and give the database a name such as Test Database. So we're missing the Java runtime environment, and we're going to go to the Oracle website, not the Java website, to get this. So let's do that now. Let's get the Java runtime edition now. So I'm going to paste the link to the uh, website here, and this link will be available in the description below. So I'm downloading Java runtime edition for Windows 10. So first of all, I'm just going to click on the JDK download here, on the Oracle JDK and go down to Windows. And so I'm getting the Windows X64 installer and that's what I'm going to go with. So let's download that right now. And yes, I accept. So remember, it's from Oracle I've gone to. Don't go to the, um, well, for me, going to the java.com didn't work. It had to be the Oracle driver. So you can see it downloading now. And my internet's actually pretty slow, just about 20 megabits a second. I've just sped up this video. So let's view the Java runtime environment in its folder or the Java development kit and let's double click on it to install it. And there we go. So it's time to click next and you can see the folder that it's in, C program files, Java, Java development kit and the version. So it's installing here now. And I think we just click close at this point and let's uh, check to see if it's been installed correctly. And now, yes, we have Oracle Corporation and just click it and apply and we're good to go. So it looks like everything is rocking and rolling just fine. So now you have uh, a good environment.